Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all an update to my Cardfight Vanguard Overdress Bob Sagra Arms Sealed Blaze Maiden deck profile for Post Festival Collection 2022. We've got a few new cards for the Armed Bob Sagra deck, which is a deck that focuses on equipping many different weapon uh, orders to your main Grade 3 unit here, Sealed Blaze Maiden Bob Sagra. And with the new support we got from the latest pack, it just helps for the overall consistency using cards like Trick moon along with the other units we run in the deck for some pretty powerful on hit vanguard attacks and boosted rear guard attacks depending on how many arms we have on our vanguard circle so let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so we'll go ahead and start off with the ride deck for our grade zero we're running sealed blaze dragon our hinsa just one road upon if you want second draw a card like the standard starters in overdress our grade one is sealed blaze dragon never car when this unit is placed on vanguard by riding from our hinsa you soul blast one Search your deck for up to one sealed blaze sword privet or sealed blaze shield and reveal it, put it into your hand and shuffle your deck. So these are the two different options you run for your armed units, being able to add either one to your hand off of riding to the grade one in the deck. So very, very useful for the added option of being able to search what you need for the play, but also being able to have that additional uh, card potentially added to your hand later on. We're running the grade two. When this unit is placed on uh, Vanguard Circle, which is Sealed Blaze Dragon Holly Hadra, you by riding from your Namo card, choose an arms card from your drop zone and put it into your hand. So depending on what you use for the discard cost for your ride deck, or even if you like heal from a trigger, you can add it back to your hand thanks to this card with our grade three being our main go-to grade three unit, which is Sealed Blaze Maiden, Bob Sagra running uh, along with the uh, ride deck copy, three additional copies of this card in the main deck on the Vanguard Circle. Once per turn, when this unit is armed, you can Soul Charge one, choose a grade one or less card from your drop zone and call it to rear. The main one you want to call from your drop zone to the field will be your Trick Moon, your main go-to card, just like how Trick Star is for the Overdress deck. And on the Vanguard Circle, once per turn, if this unit is armed with two or more cards, you can Soul Blast 2, retire all of your opponent's front row rear guards, and this unit gets critical plus one until end of turn. It's that critical and the option for Persona Riding that give you more of the power options thanks to this card in the deck. We normally, we'd go to the grade two or three units, but we're going to stick to the actual armed cards that we run in the deck. For our arms numbers, we're running four Sealed Blaze Sphere at Hitya, with this card being the right Deity Arms, sec uh, Sealed Blaze Maiden by Sagra. With this card, you play it with a counter blast of one and with it on vanguard circle when this unit is armed draw a card and you may play an additional arms card this turn giving you the option for your defensive arms card and during your turn the unit is armed with this card it gets plus 10,000 power so you have the additional critical thanks to Bob Sagra and then the plus 10,000 thanks to Adhitya for the one of copies for the armed units I also run one sealed blaze gun Chandra for the option of soul blasting one to equip it when it's armed you counter blast two and the arm unit gets drive plus one till the end of that battle and then at the end of the battle, you put this unit into your drop zone. So it makes up for the fact that you'll have to just rearm another uh, weapon with it. With that one, you can use your Sealed Blaze Shield. Uh, once again, this one's searchable with the Grade 1 from the Ride Target also. And also being able to have a more defensive play. When this unit is armed with this card is attacked, you, that armed card can get plus 10,000 till end of battle once per turn. And the last one of is our Sealed Blaze Sword with this card on the Vanguard Circle. You arm it with a Soul Blast of 1. And when it's armed with this card attacks, that armed unit gets plus 10 until the end of the battle. And at the end of that battle, if your opponent's damage zone has four or less cards, you can count plus one, put this unit into your drop zone, and choose one of your opponent's vanguards and deal it one damage. Giving you that play makes up for the fact that with that hit you, you can just rearm that same vanguard the following turn. But they're one of, I feel like, four of the ad hit you just for the draw power and the plus 10 adds to more of the pressure. These are more situational cards to use, but still good when it pops up. For the grade threes, the only other grade three that I run in the deck are four copies of Sealed Blaze Dragon, a Darla. When this unit is placed on rear, if your Vanguard has one arms card, count plus one, choose an arms card from your hand or drop, and arm it to one of your Vanguard. So even with the one of cards, you can at least place them back onto your Vanguard, thanks to you, a Darla. And on rear guard during your turn, if your Vanguard has two or more arms, it gets plus 5,000. Along with the Persona Ride, it can be hitting for 28,000 alone. 
Moving on now to some of the new units from the Festival Collection 2022. I run four of the new Sealed Blaze Dragon Arashinya. When this unit is placed on rearguard, perform all the following according to the arms on your vanguard. If you have a right deity arms, it gets plus 10,000 to end of turn. If you have a left deity arms, you can carry plus one and choose a grade one or less from your drop and call it to rearguard, giving you more of a boost option depending on what card you call out. It's grade one or less. You can also, you know, call out your Trick Moon onto the field from your drop zone as well. A definite four of it makes up for some of the other units we used to run with this deck for more of the generic options, but having both the power option and the rear guard call option, it's a definite four of from the latest set. I also run two copies of the new Sealed Blaze Dragon Idom, just as more of a power up option with the new units from the latest set. When this unit attacks, it gets plus five until the end of that battle for each arms card on your Vanguard. So it could be 30k on its own if you Persona Row that turn with Bob Sagra and have both of your arms units equipped onto your Vanguard. And that is it for the grade twos. Moving on now to the grade ones. For the grade ones, since we are working with a drop zone that we can easily call units back onto the field with cards things like Oshinya uh, or even your Bob Sagra, I am running two Sealed Blaze Dragon, if, uh, Hista or Hista, I believe, on rear guard. During your turn, this unit gets 2,000 power for each card on your Vanguard, meaning a total of 6k power to this alone. And if you have to, it can attack by itself and hit for 13k power against your opponent's Vanguard or 23, depending if you persuade. Sona Road. And then the last of the grade ones that I run in the deck are just four of the Twin Buckler Dragon being the Sentinel of Choice, being able to use this card just for the additional guard option of having one or less card in hand to have an additional Sentinel to save to use against your opponent, or the grade three in your hand to save to Persona Ride into Bob Sagra the following turn. And that's it for the grade ones. Moving on now to the grade uh, zeros. I am running four Trick Moon as your go-to backup boss monster in the deck. When this unit is placed on your back row center rear guard from drop zone, counter charge one, making up for a lot of the counter blast that you can do with this deck, whether with your arms deck, Bob Sagra, or even the newest unit we run from the festival collection. And on the rear guard circle, when this unit boosts, the boosted unit gets plus 10,000 to the end of that battle for each of your sealed blaze maiden Bob Sagras armed with it so you have more and more power up options thanks to your vanguard you'll place this on the back row center rear guard for the added option for the counter charge and give you options for your arms to gain more and more power with this unit boosting and you can easily call it with your other grade twos like i said that we run the deck with your uh, shinya being able to call it with just a counter plus one from your drop zone to any rear guard circle and that's it for the non-trigger units. For the non-trigger, for the trigger units, we're running seven criticals. So three of the Conduct Spark Dragon and four of the Burning Flail Dragon, just for the trigger with the ability for putting into soul to build up some soul power and give plus two to another unit. And also running four of the Flare Veil Dragon, draw trigger for more of a shield option against our opponent. And for the heal trigger, I am running two of the Blaze Maiden Rona, one of the Stealth Fiend Amaviera, for the restand option, depending on if you go up against decks like Bastion that can restand, having the bigger shield power and the one Cure Flare Draco Kid for the additional critical uh, power against your opponent, having the plus 15 shield if that unit has an additional critical. I like the combo uh, option for these triggers with these numbers. So you have the 15k shield with your Rona and then the added option for these backup heals when needed. And then for the over trigger, finishing off with just the one drag beta, being able to restand your buff Sagra is definitely pressure in and of itself when you can do so for the big numbers that you can hit with this card. So this over trigger just comes down as an added bonus because of it. And that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy the video. One of the better supported decks, I would say, from the Festival Collection, aside from Zorga and Orphis with the new support. So definitely look forward to adding additional cards to your ARMS deck if you haven't by now. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.